Hi guys, welcome back to your podcast and um, Squawk Talk. I'm Yorani Lopez. I'm here with Janet and Leslie. And today we're going to be talking about movies um, in general, whatever. So, yeah. Um, Janet, what is your favorite movie? Or uh, My favorite movie right now is Transformers, like the whole trilogy. Okay. Leslie? Uh, my favorite movie is kind of... Well, it's been out, but it's a horror movie. It's La Llorona. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. I saw that one. That one's actually really good. Yeah. That one made me jump a little bit. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> um, and so you went to go see it at the movie theater, right? Yeah, I went. Yeah? yeah. Um, do you personally like, like the movie theater more or like a home movie? Well, for me, I like it more in the movie theater because the sound effects and, like, it feels more real to me. Yeah, the experience. Yeah. Yeah. What about you, Janet? Um, definitely, I like both of them, watching a movie at home and at the movie theater. Um, like, you know, mixture between both, because sometimes you can get irritated by yeah. people screaming or, like, something. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't go to the movie theaters often. Um, I'm more of a Hulu girly, but one of my cousins, she goes to the movie theaters, like, every weekend. Um, I don't know why, but her and her boyfriend go on dates, like, every weekend to the movie theaters, um, and she, like, loves it. She's obsessed with it. And they just watch whatever's on. Like, they don't care. <laughs> they just watch whatever. I mean, and who wouldn't? It's a yeah, date, right? You know? It's cute. It's a date. Uh, it's it's amazing. Um, but me personally, I feel like I would get annoyed of it, like, the same thing. But. I mean, as long as he's paying. but that's, yeah. <laughs> As long as he's paying for real. Um, but do you guys have any, like, type of movies you guys prefer? Like, any genre? Um, I really like, like, the dystopian genre. I like, dystopian. I like Hunger Games, like, yeah. Maze Runner, all that. I just say horror. Like, honestly, any horror movie for me is, like, fun to watch. So you guys are just, like, ready to die, huh? Y'all just, <laughs> y'all just ready to get out of here, huh? <laughs> uh-uh. I, I like dystopian, too, like, or, how do you say? The dystopian? Dystopian, yeah. yeah, okay, sorry. I like dystopian, too. Um, I'm, I'm really into it. I think my sister is the one that's more into it, but... I really like it. I just, um, I think I like just like, I'm more of a show person. A show person. A show person. I don't know. So you said you're a Hulu girl. So like, what shows do yeah. you watch? Yeah. Oh, right now, I'm watching Superstore. That's what it's called. Superstore. Oh, okay. It's called Superstore. It's like, um, it's a show about a grocery store. This is like a Walmart basically, and like the workers there, um, and like basically like the main thing about it is there's like these two characters that like. One's the manager and one's, like, a normal worker, and they, like, fall in love. So, corny. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. But I like the movies there on Hulu, too. I've seen a couple because the only thing I don't like about it is the ads. Like, there's so many ads in Hulu. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The ads are so long for no reason. Yeah, they're, like, a minute and 30 seconds, and I, I can't. <laughs> I just, like, I just put it away, and I'm just, like, do something else while the ads are going on. <laughs> What what do you like most about Transformers? Um, Sam Witwicky, the main character. The main character? Yeah, Shadow LaBeouf. <laughs> He's hot. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, and what do those characters do? Like, what's the movie about? So the movie's about basically, so it's about um, Sam Witwicky and basically him and. In his high school years, he's kind of like a little, he's a loser, pretty much. He's a loser. So he has a crush on this girl, uh, Megan Fox. I think her oh. name, I forgot her name in the movie, but I mean, who wouldn't? Right. Yeah, right. And so basically he's trying to figure out like how not to be a loser and like try to like be cool or whatever. And so then um, I think he goes into a parking lot one time and then he sees something come from the sky and it's one of the Transformers. And so he starts going crazy because you see him transform into like this robot and it's kind of going crazy. Then I think he ends up getting arrested. And so he ends up explaining like he doesn't know what's going on. And then this whole thing happens. And then it's just like the Transformers with Optimus Prime, Bumblebee and Cybertron and all that. And then um, turns out his grandpa was like one that discovered the Transformers and he has like this glasses and stuff. So yeah. Oh, and deep. he's trying not to die, so. Yeah, are we all? Um, Leslie, mm -hmm. what do you what do you like about that? Well, the movie I went to watch it with my family, so that made it like better. But I just like like the thrill of like being scared of like you know like closing my eyes and then yeah. like you know not knowing what's gonna happen next. The movie was really like it just went back into like the legend because you know many people have different like 
I, I'd say like thoughts about it. Like they're just like, no, the the legend happened this way. No, it happened mm -hmm. that way. And it's just like like different ideas. yeah, different ideas about like mm -hmm. how it went. And and you personally, how do you think the legend is? Like, what do you think happened? Well, honestly, I think it's just the main one of when she killed the the what's his name. I forgot the. I don't remember. He, I, I, was, I watched him. I don't remember. Yeah, all like of it. he was like a Spaniard, like hero or something like that. I don't, I don't know. know. I mean, I remember she killed her kids. Yeah, but she killed you know. her kids in a river, and like then she, now she's like mourning, looking for them, like in other kids that aren't hers. But yeah. Yeah. Janet, what do you think the little suspicion is? Well, I definitely think it's real. I know some people say it's not real and they're like, oh, like that's just a made up story. I know mm -hmm. it originated in Mexico yeah. and all that. And I know people say, oh, they see her walking around and like if you hear a lady crying, it's it's her. So you like should walk away from it. Um, I definitely think it's real. I think like superstition and all that, like um, like ghosts and all that is real. So like if that ever happens to me, I'm definitely running, running away. <laughs> <laughs> I have heard her actually really? back home in Mexico. Um, I was, this was like two years ago in the winter break and I was falling asleep. It was already like four or five and I had heard her like, I was like laying down. I was about to fall asleep and I heard her. I was like shaking and like, I was like under my covers. That was not it. I was Did you scared. tell anybody there? Yeah. Like my cousin was right next to me and like, <laughs> no, it was the same way. It was scary. Uh -uh. I don't, if I ever heard her, I, uh -uh. I don't think I could handle that. Oh, man. Um, I, I don't know. I've heard like different stories too, but I, I feel like the main one that I've heard a lot was like that she was really like, um, I think she had like these three kids, but she had them with this one guy and she was like really like bad breakup or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then the kids just kept on reminding her of the guy mm -hmm. porque, because they looked like him. Yeah, yeah. I heard that right? One too. The kids. Didn't he like cheat or something? Yeah, he uh, yeah. Like Le Engaño, he cheated on her. And so then she killed the kids and put them in like a little ditch or whatever against mm -hmm. and then she like so, like once she killed them she realized what she did and she started crying. And she cried so much that that quote unquote turned into the river mm -hmm. where the kids are now, you know, dead. And so then you would hear like, oh like She's looking for her kids. She's looking for someone to replace the kids, you know? And, mm -mm, mm -mm. No, that's just scary. Like, just waking up and then, like, hearing somebody crying. Like, yeah. That's creepy. Other than that, like, do you guys, if you guys do watch them at home, where do you guys, like, watch them at? Like, your movies? Um, Netflix, Hulu, HBO, um, Disney Plus, and I think... Showtime. Oh, Jenny got the hookup, man. Yeah, you got everything. <laughs> she got everything. I only Is got a student discount. My sister don't use her, oh. like, from like college. Yeah. For Hulu, I pay forty nine. You get Spotify Premium, you yeah. get Hulu, and then you get Showtime. Like, mm -hmm. that's good. I only have Hulu and like Disney Plus and Netflix. That's it. <laughs> uh, no, I I I know I got the, I have the like the the Disney Plondo for my phone plan, mm -hmm. and then we used to have Netflix, but we don't anymore. <laughs> I don't know, we just like, I never really watched Netflix. None of my family really watches Netflix. I mean, all the shows that are there can be found like somewhere else. I mean, yeah. not all of them, because some of them are like the Netflix shows. Mm -hmm. You know how Netflix makes shows? Mm -hmm. um, I didn't even like, so we just don't watch that yeah. much. But some of the Netflix, like the, the produced Netflix movies and shows are actually pretty good. Are there any shows that you watch? Um, I know Netflix made like Never Have I Ever. Have you guys ever watched yeah, that one? Yeah. yeah. I was a show. But. Have you watched um, Bridgerton? No. You Did Netflix think that one? Yeah. Is that a, that's a show too, huh? Yeah, you should watch it. I'm making me. You give me the password, I'll watch it. I could. I could. I, could, I, could. <laughs> I just got off Netflix because, like, I would only watch one movie there, like, on repeat. It is. Yeah, it, it does get a little, like, boring looking and, like, mm -hmm. looking around trying to yeah. find a movie. I just kind of wait because, like, I watch everything. So, like, once I'm done watching everything that's there new and all that, I just get kind of bored. So I just go on to Hulu and see what's there. Yeah, same. Because I know I'd spent a lot of days, like, scrolling through Netflix and, like, I don't know, nothing, like, none of the movies yeah. just, like, look like I'd be into that. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of anime, which I do like anime. I just don't watch anime. Okay. But, you know. Uh, do you like like anime characters? Like, what do you like? Like, <laughs> no. <laughs> like, see, I don't. 
there's not like a specific thing I like. Like I don't. I know I like Naruto, but that's just because I watched it before. Mm-hmm. But I'm not like a big on that or whatever. But yeah, I'm. I'm really glad you guys came to talk to me. You know, mm-hmm. um, thank you guys for being here. Um, bye guys. Yeah. <laughs>